My name is uh, Tom Thayer, and I'm the third generation citrus grower. And I started my career uh, 61 years ago, and I have approximately 700 acres. I grew up around the citrus, you know. Where we lived in Avon Park, we lived in an orange grove, and my granddad always had orange groves. So I've been, that's all I've ever known, you know, as far as citrus. It was not until I was an intern with the Snivelys that I really got involved. While working for the Snivelys, Tom Thayer developed a passion for the citrus business and decided to start his own citrus nursery operation. He made a name for himself in the industry by consistently traveling all over the state, meeting with growers, selling trees, and sharing valuable trade information with customers he received from the UF IFAS Experiment Station. In 1970, Tom Thayer's nursery business suffered significant losses from freeze damage. After the freeze, he teamed up with a friend, Joe Race, to purchase the old Glen St. Mary's nursery operation in Dundee, which is known today as Southern Citrus Nurseries. Tom's success in building trusted relationships with citrus growers continued to the point he sold 700,000 trees one year. And then in 1972, Gilbert Bowen, who a lot of people know, uh, sent me to South Africa uh, with some scientists and uh, I wasn't real sure about doing that but he said no I want you to go because I need somebody with common sense <laughs> I'll never forget him saying that <laughs> he said you've got to write up something and show me what they're doing from your perspective so for a month, we stayed over in South Africa. And that was probably the big change in my life. During the South Africa trip, Tom Thayer was introduced to low volume micro spray irrigation, which used significantly less water and improved production. Given the benefits of the product, Tom Thayer began an unexpected journey of importing and selling irrigation products to Florida citrus growers. As demand increased and product availability challenges surfaced, Tom decided he needed to find a way to produce it locally. He began local production with just a few machines in a 10,000 square foot metal building. Today, MaxiJet covers 75,000 square feet of production space, producing hundreds of thousands of jets each year. I'd say probably our biggest success would have been, uh, you know, the trees, the growth. I, I grew that into a huge nursery and the MaxiJets. It just, it was so compatible. I mean, it just worked out beautifully. Over the last 15 years, Tom Thayer has transitioned the nursery and irrigation businesses over to his sons, Tommy and Sam, who manage the day-to-day -day operations. When you're dealing with the bank, my experience, when dealing with the bank, they have no earthly idea what you're doing. I mean, they don't understand agriculture or citrus. They might think they do, but they don't. And so it's, it's tough when you're dealing with them. Farm Credit already understands. If any grower on earth wanted to borrow money, don't go to the bank. Use Farm Credit because they're already set up. They know exactly what to do. 